Hi, this is Mr. Murphy. I wanted to briefly go over how to superimpose a uh, background to one of your images. Uh, so again, we're working with the People Project, uh, and I mentioned brief, uh, briefly last class that one of your final images has to uh, be superimposed with a background or to create a filter that creates a type of vintage look to your photograph. So uh, for this screencast, I'm gonna show you how to superimpose a background uh, with an image that you have. So right here you can see this is my daughter Grace uh, and say I want to get her superimposed with this background. So kind of a better living room area, better couch um, instead of this background. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my quick selection tool and I'm going to click on this button with the little plus sign. So what that essentially does, it starts selecting anything that I highlight. Um, if you can hear my mouse, I am doing multiple clicks. I don't want you to just click and drag once because the quick selection tool is quick and easy, but it also makes mistakes. So sometimes when you're highlighting an, uh, an area that you want, it'll start highlighting the background, um, which will be tough to um, deselect if you're just selecting once. So keep on just adding bit by bit by clicking uh, more of your object that you want to highlight. Uh, just go around your subject and make sure everything is highlighted. So this takes quite a bit of time. Um, my is going to be kind of brief and uh, rugged. I expect you guys to spend a little bit more time. But once I get most of my subject highlighted, what I do is I like to increase the image and go right around and make sure everything is highlighted. So. Obviously, we can see some of our shirts cut off. We want to keep adding uh, until we get everything. You can see some of our hair is cut off. Um, we'll add some of that as well. So inevitably, when you start using this tool, you are going to copy some of that background that you don't want. So very easily, I can click on this minus tool. All right, so I'm going to bring down my brush stroke a little bit too. So once I have this minus tool, it will deselect that area, all right? So we can see that it's kind of deselecting that background, all right? So again, plus add minus tool, we'll get rid of some of that background. So I wanna add some of this hair up here. You can see some of our ears cropped off. We're gonna highlight that, keep going around make sure everything is highlighted all right so we can see some of that pillow we don't want to bring that in so get that minus tool start clicking so it's deselected all right so we're pretty much good here so the next thing i'm going to do is i am going to go to this button called refine edge so we'll refine edge tool basically crops out that picture that you just highlighted and it shows you what is going to be uh, what your subject is going to look like in a different background so you can see it's kind of rough around the edges the first thing i'm going to do is go to this smart radius tool um, the edge detection and i'm going to bring the radius up a little bit it kind of makes that edge a little bit softer um, not so harsh um, so again you can filter throughout all these tools and see what they do uh, it smooths out the edge quite a bit uh, which generally works. You don't want to bring it too much. Um, and you can see the feather really <laughs> will get rid of the baby. Uh, but you can see that edge is really kind of blurred out. I don't want it too blurry. So I'm going to bring that down. All right. So what it, when I think it's good enough, I'm going to hit the OK button. And we can see that she is still selected. So if I right click and I go layer via cut, she is now her own layer all right so if i go to my move tool you can see that she is now by herself so all i have to do is move her up to that background tab right here so if i click move her up to that tab and then deselect you can see that she is now in this background obviously she is a huge baby in this background so we're going to have to make some adjustments so if i go up to my edit button you can go to the free transform button and you can see that this grid popped up. So I can start making adjustments here. So I can go scroll her down quite a bit. 
to make her fit into the couch. <clears throat> All right. And she's still kind of big, so I'm going to go even more. All right. There we go. All right. So whatever think, uh, whenever you're done uh, moving your subject, you can hit enter. And now she is cropped in that background. So again, she is still her, her own layer. You can see she's layer one. And then I got the background uh, layer right here. All right. So with her still selected, say, you know, this is a decent job. Again, I would spend a lot more time editing this. Uh, but you can see it's, you know, somewhat reasonable that she doesn't look too superimposed there. Uh, but if I want to really start editing and, and try to get her superimposed to that background so she doesn't look uh, like she's been added, I'm going to go back to my edit tab and I am going to go to perspective warp. Once that is highlighted, you can see my uh, mouse has changed. If I go over her whole body, it creates this grid. Once I hit enter, I can start moving her around. So it'll kind of transform her uh, into the couch a little bit more. So again, this part is very tough. I would spend again about five to you know five to seven minutes really trying to get um, the perspective warp down. It's kind of a tough tool to use, but once it's done properly, uh, your subject is going to really look uh, authentic in your in your final picture. So uh, I think this should be good enough for now. Once I'm done, I hit enter, and you can see it kind of perspective warped her in there. So decent, um, doesn't look too superimposed. Again, once we move back a little bit, she doesn't look that bad. All right, so that's a quick and easy tutorial on how to superimpose someone into a new background. If you have any questions, obviously you can come and see me at any time.